This shy miniature mammal has the four stomachs of a hoofed herbivore, the fangs of a vampire, the adorable face of a mouse, and one species even swims like a duck. But these squee-inducing sweeties aren't any of those things. They're an ancient creature that hasn't changed much in the past 34 million years. This is the Chevrotain. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. The Chevrotain is the name of the world's smallest ruminant, which belongs to the Trigulidae family. Ruminants are even toed, hoofed animals, usually with four stomachs, like cows, sheep, bison, deer, and antelopes. Chevrotains have been around for about 34 million years, with the highest number of species existing during the Miocene Epoch, about 11 million years ago. It was during this time that mammals were the newest, hottest creatures on Earth. Highlights from the Miocene include the emergence of dogs, bears, saber-toothed cats, and whales, to name a few. Dozens of extinct species of chevrotain have been described in northern Pakistan, Europe, and Africa. Today's 10 chevrotain species are the last remnants of these ancient ancestors. Also known as mouse deer because of their small stature and rodent-like appearance, these super-shy creatures are spread across three genera. The six species of the Tragulus genus and the three of the Moschiola genus live in India, Sri Lanka, and Southeast Asia, including Sumatra, Borneo, and Java. The water chevrotain is the one exception, the chonkiest of them all. This lone member of the Hyemoschus genus measures around 13 inches at the shoulder and weighs up to a whopping 15 kilograms, which is about the weight of a hefty corgi. The water chevrotain is the only species that lives on a completely different continent, making its home in the tropical rainforests of Africa, from Sierra Leone to the Congo. Unlike its vegetarian cousins, this species has been known to snack on insects, crabs, and even the occasional dead fish or animal that it comes across. Chevrotains are famously skittish, which is a great way to escape potential predators when you're just this small. But the water chevrotain has a slightly more elaborate and much wetter escape strategy. When startled, the water chevrotain will spring into the closest river and swim underwater to elude any suspected predator, which sometimes also includes researchers. It can stay submerged for up to five minutes at a time, and propels itself forward by walking along the riverbed. It will come up for air under the cover of riverbanks and overhanging vegetation to check if the coast is clear. The water chevrotain might be the largest species, but every species of chevrotain is seriously small. The world record for teeniest, tiniest ungulate goes to Tragulus conchil, the lesser Malayan chevrotain. The weeest examples of this diminutive cutie weigh in at just under three pounds. This miniature mouse deer is even the star of a series of fables popular in Indonesia and Malaysia. In these stories, a clever chevrotain named Sang Kanchil uses his smarts to outwit those who are bigger and stronger. Chevrotains are mostly solitary and very elusive animals, adding to their almost mythical status. They really only interact with each other in order to mate and for the occasional squabble over territory. Lacking horns or antlers, the males sport tiny fang-like vampiric tusks, which are actually elongated canine teeth to assist them in their adorable little territorial battles. Not much is known about the habits and behaviors of chevrotains in the wild, however, because they are just so darn elusive. And when I say elusive, I mean elusive. One species, the silverback chevrotain, went unspotted for almost 30 years. It was finally photographed in the wild for the first time in 2017 in southern Vietnam when scientists set up camera traps after receiving some hot tips from locals. These sightings have sparked a push to protect the chevrotain and its habitat. 
As you may expect, little is known about the reproductive biology of chevrotains, both in the wild and in captivity, where they are difficult to breed. To learn more, researchers have even resorted to measuring the hormone levels in the poops of female Java mouse deer to better understand their reproductive physiology. Now that's what I call dedication to this adorable ungulate. Now what should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya!